everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Ours was all right, but Thanksgiving is over. It's time for Christmas now. I have already gone Christmas crazy. We're having guacamole Christmas this year. It's, it's a little extra. Uh, the house is decorated. The shopping is done. It is December 1st, by the way. The shopping is done. I've already got a couple gifts wrapped under the tree. I have already started baking. Um, but I have a lot to do now, so that doesn't leave much time for cooking dinner. So we're going to do a lot of quick and easy things um, this month. The first thing we're going to do is this white chicken chili, except we are using some of our leftover turkey instead of chicken, and we're making white turkey chili. It snowed last night, there's snow on the ground today, and I believe it's snowing right now. Uh, so chili is going to be perfect and we can get rid of some of these leftovers because uh, it's been a week since Thanksgiving and it's time to get rid of these leftovers. So this is really, really, really easy. It's just dump and go. That's it. So the first thing we're going to do is add, we're going to start with two cups of chicken broth. We may have to add a little more water to it uh, if that's not enough, but so I've got two cups of chicken broth, and then I have a bowl. I have two teaspoons of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon and a half of cumin, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I didn't use a lot of salt because the chicken broth is salty, um, so you may want to add more later to your taste. So we're gonna dump all those things in with our broth here. And don't let the little bit of cayenne fool you. This is not spicy chili at all. Just gives it a little bit of flavor. I have a half of an onion chopped up. Throw that in there. What else do we have? Mm -hmm. I have a can of these green chilies. I don't know which way is the front. So there's a can of these green chilies. Again, it's not spicy. These aren't spicy at all. They just taste really yummy. It's really good. Stir that in with a broth. I have two cans of beans. We used, we used Great Northern beans. Uh, you can use white kidney beans. You can use the cannellini beans whatever you desire in our turkey and we are definitely gonna need a little bit more water in there so let me grab a little bit more of that so I'm gonna add two more cups of water fire my spoon oh I left it in the bowl that's it we are gonna put this in the crock pot on low for six hours and then when it's done when we're ready to eat it we're going to come back and we're going to add a little bit of heavy cream a little bit of sour cream and that's it it's done super duper easy this is so easy that while your kids are home on christmas break and you're at work you can tell them to make dinner have it ready for you when you get home for a change so i will see you in six hours and we're going to eat this chili it's going to be delicious about four hours we have this on high and it smells really good the whole house smells good so we're just gonna do two things to finish this we are going to add half a pint of heavy cream that's still apparently a little frozen <laughs> And a cup, which we are just gonna eyeball, of sour cream. 
dirt all up in there. So that's it. Our white turkey chili is done. It was super, super easy. So I'm gonna try some. I got a bowl with some crackers. Cheese on the top. That's really good. It's good. It's a good way to use your Thanksgiving leftover for your turkey anyway. And it's gonna go while I was waiting. I made, uh oh. I made no bake cookies. Only to find out that I am not the only person in the house that doesn't like no bake cookies. So I've got like two and a half dozen of these things that probably aren't going to get eaten. But, so that's it. That's all I have today. Like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, send me pictures, follow me on Instagram. That's where all the recipes are. That's where I are all day. And uh, I'll see you next week.